This is basically a manual transmission in this input shaft, which is splined. This is what's actually going to be corresponding with the clutch disc. We need to first line this up to even be able to get the transmission to bolt up to the motor. So basically, when you're installing the transmission, you take it out of the loop completely, unbolt it, bring it down to uh, access the clutch. Okay, so now we're in the hole. We need to line it up. And there we go. There is several bolts up on top and on the side of the transmission to be able to bolt the transmission and the engine together to make them one. So now the transmission is bolted up. We have to connect the transmission to the car with the output shafts. These are the output shafts, which is what I showed you on the table. This will one end go through the differential and in through the knuckle of the wheel. This is the knuckle, spline. Those spline correspond to these splines. So there's the differential. You take the drive shaft through the suspension. One end goes into the differential, like so. The other end will go into the knuckle. Both sides are splined. Once this is bolted up, you're directly connected to the transmission. And then you can reassemble the rest of your suspension. When it's done, this is the subframe. And it'll get bolted up to the bottom and hold everything up in the car in place.